Now, Amy Winehouse's father, Mitch, knows all too well the impact of addiction. His talented daughter died nine years ago, and since then, through the foundation set up in her name, he's worked with young people to prevent drug and alcohol misuse. Today, they've released new figures which show an alarming rise in people taking prescription or illegal drugs during lockdown. Mitch Winehouse, I'm delighted to say, joins me now along with Jan Alexander. She uses her own experience of addiction to educate students on drug awareness. Uh, Mitch, Alyssa, I should turn to you first. I mean, I presume you're not massively surprised that your foundation has found that there has been an increase in addiction to alcohol or prescription drugs or illegal drugs during the pandemic. And eating, and eating. You know, my, I, I myself are struggling with eating during this, this period. I've put on two stones. So it's not difficult to understand why people are turning to, to these substances and food to allay some of their misery. Um, that, that's a fact of life. 26% um, increase um, in those who are starting to use prescription drugs or illegal drugs. We look at some hotspots in the country as well, Mitch, like the northeast of England, double the national average. It's pretty worrying times, isn't it? It's worrying times. But, you know, we just got some news about uh, university students being allowed home at Christmas. That will help, you know, because a lot of these young people are, are struggling with loneliness and isolation and... Um, you know, they need to be with their family as much as possible, even when they're away, even when they're away at school. Let me just turn to Jan. Uh, Jan Alexander in Manchester, I mean, you've had experience yourself and you use that experience to educate others. Um, what have you, what's your personal reflections on what's happened during the pandemic? Um, my personal reflection is I've been on, I've just come on to this session on the back of a few deliveries and young people are really struggling with the mental health with high anxiety issues. Um, and there are, there are increased substance use um, during lockdown because one, they're not allowed to go out anywhere and two, a lot of the young people are using at home. Uh, and your experience clearly is a very personal one. Um, uh, in the way in which you help these students, what is it that they're telling you? What sort of help do you think they need? In every session that we deliver, no matter what the issue is happening to the young person, they need to talk about their experiences. You know, there's no point bottling it up and not getting help because it will just eat away at their self-esteem. You know, the whole the whole issue around drugs and alcohol and other addictions is to get the help that they need. You know, once they get the help that they need, they can go on to then possibly fulfilling lives and have positive experiences in the future. And Mitch, you know that it doesn't have to be uh, illegal substances. I mean, as you know, from very painfully yourself, uh, your daughter also suffered from alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's right. And of course, uh, alcohol is just as dangerous as, as drugs are. And of course, you don't have to, you don't have to, you can buy alcohol uh, in the supermarket or, or in the pub or whatever. It doesn't have to be illegal drugs. But as Jan has said, I mean, Jan is one of our coordinators at the Amy Winehouse Foundation. And as she quite rightly says... OK, Mitch. <laughs> I'm really sorry to interrupt you. We're out of time, but we appreciate you both joining us on the programme today. I'll see you. Thank you. Finally, getting...